Hey guys, so I was uh, running around in the desert doing a little bit of training before heading to Petalburg, and I found this. It's Mirage Tower. It shows up every once in a while, but since it's here, let's go in. Um, it kind of just spawns randomly in the desert. I don't know what causes it to spawn. I haven't done. I, I was doing a little bit of training. My team's about the same as last time you saw it. But since it was here when it, I was running by, I definitely figured I should explore it, and I wanted to show it. So let's go up to the top, see what's there. And there's a lot of Pokemon in here. I don't know if this counts as a new route or not, but I don't really want a drowsy, so whatever. I'm not going to catch it anyway. Um, okay, lots of drowsies. Let's throw up a uh, repel so we can get through here. Alright, looks like we need the mock bike. Thankfully, I have that, I believe. Yep. So these tiles, um, yeah, if you stand on one for very long, it's going to drop you down to the previous floor. Um, that's you have to have the mac the mock bike to go over them quickly. All right, that's a dead end. And I'm honestly not very good with the mock bike. Really, I need rock smash here too. <sighs> that's frustrating. Maybe I'll just teach it to somebody temporarily. Um. Alright, well I'm gonna get rid of Leer for now. I might, I'll probably delete Rock Smash later, but just so I can get through here. Eventually I'll get to the move deleter and I can just get rid of it. I don't remember where it is, or the move deleter is in this game, I'll probably look it up. I think he's in Lily Cove maybe, which isn't ridiculously far away, but it'll be a while till I get there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna Rock Smash, and here are the fossils, that's what the point of Mirage Tower is. Um, root Fossil, no. I don't want that one. I think that one is a lily, which I kind of hate. Really, the fossils in this game are kind of underwhelming. They're probably my least favorite of all the fossils and throughout the game, but uh, Anorith is at least better. So now that I grab that, the whole tower is falling down. I'm gonna get the heck out of there. Just jump down from the top, and the Mirage Tower is gonna fade away into nothingness. Hey, here's the other fossil, and it crumbles. Um, apparently, I didn't get this item earlier, so I'm going to grab that while I'm here. And um, I'm going to uh, continue training and then head to Petalburg, where I will uh, see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I'm still kind of sad, because last time, at the end of the last episode, we did get our fourth gym badge, but we lost our starter, uh, Guard of War in the Guard of War in the process, so I replaced him with uh, Snowball, and I trained everybody up a couple levels in the desert. Um, let's see, uh, Agron got Iron Tail, and Snowball got Crunch, and I think those were the only... Oh no, you also got Metronome. Those were the only eventful things that happened while I was training, although I did find Mirage Tower, which uh, I showed and should have uh, played right before this. Anyway, uh, let's go into the gym. This is the 5th uh, gym. It's a normal type 1, and the gym leader is our father in the game. Now, you can go through these rooms in kind of whatever order you want. Um, I normally would go through and fight everybody, but since this is a Nuzlocke, and I remember some of these rooms being kind of annoying. Let's see. I'll pick. I'll fight all the ones that I think will be easy. Swellow is not going to be a problem. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Confusion room? Okay, that's probably fine. Like, I think there's one room that's like a one-hit KO room or something, and I, in a Nuzlocke, that just sounds bad. I'm guessing their Pokemon is Fisher or something. Uh, I'm just going to avoid that, so normally I'd go through and fight all of these, but in this case, I'm probably not going to. You can fight a minimum of three. Uh, huh, I wonder why this was the confusion room, then, if it was trying to use Focus Punch. That's weird. Anyway doesn't get to uh, focus punch anything, so that's good. Strength room, that's fine. I'm not worried about that one. Alright. Let's go. Zangoose. Let's try Iron Tail. Aww. There we go. Yeah, Iron Tail is quite strong. It's uh, With Stab, it's 150 power, which is awesome. The only problem is it's only 75% accuracy, so... That kind of sucks. Alright, that's the gym leader's room up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fight a couple more people. I'm just going to avoid 
the rooms that I think are going to be bad. Defense room, that sounds fine. Alright. Wiggly tough. It's iron tail. Oh, it didn't die. That is disappointing. I'll just double metal claw it. Alright, uh, that's back to the strength room that we already did. And what is this? One hit K room. Nope, fuck that. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the gym later, honestly. Um, normally I fight everybody for free XP, but I, I, all those fights went well, and you're probably wondering what I'm being paranoid about. But I remember a couple of those rooms, I think like the recovery room, um, I believe that in there the uh, Pokemon that they use uses like counter or something, and that can be really dangerous in a Nuzlocke, and the one hit KO room just sounds like a bad idea. So I'm going to avoid that and just go straight to the gym later, honestly. Alright, so here he is. Hmm, so you did get four gym badges. It's fine, as promised, we'll have a Pokemon battle. Pidgey, I'm so happy to have... I'm sorry, I'm tired right now. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power to win. Better give it your best shot, too. Hit me with your best shot, doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, uh, here's Leader Norman. I'm gonna lead out with a Spinda, level 27. That's not too bad. Fairly confident I can Metal Claw that. And I forgot to turn battle animations back on. Wow. I guess I was going through this battle so fast I didn't notice. Yeah, while I was uh, training, I turned those off just because they're kind of annoying when you're uh, training for a while out in the desert. Uh, I'll make sure I turn those back on after the battle. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was confused, so I wanted to get out of there. Tauros can take a side beam and probably kill it with one attack. Just imagine what the animations look like in your head. Normally, I like having them on, but uh, just in the case that I was, well, since I was training for like, you know, 20 minutes just out in the desert, it, it speeds it up to take them off, honestly. Um, Alright, Slate King, this is the guy I was a little worried about. I'm going to lead off with a Mud Slap to lower his accuracy. Even though it doesn't do much damage at all. And apparently that was a good move, because he tried to counter. So, Slate King has this ability where it only can move every other turn. So, like, now it's not doing anything. So I think on every turn that it attacks, I'm probably just going to Mud Slap because now that I know that it can use counter, I'm a little worried about that. But if it counters a Mud Slap, then it's not really a big deal. Um, so I'm going to Metal Claw. And then next turn I should be able to kill it with an Iron Tail. Nope, it had a berry. I lied. Alright, in that case, I'm going to heal. Glad I didn't go for a... Okay, yeah. Good thing I did not fuck up that counter. Alright, let's Metal Claw again, and then turn after that I should be able to kill it. Assuming he doesn't heal, which he might. Yep, he did. Let's see how much an Iron Tail does, though. Hyper Potion, and good, landed the Iron Tail. Does a pretty good amount. Lowers its defense every time. And if I can hit one more Iron Tail, this is over. And I missed. Damn it. <laughs> Let's try it again! Iron Tail! Suck it, Slay King! Alright, good shit, Aggron. That was, that was solid. Up to 31, and he's got a Vigoroth. So, uh, Vigoroth has lower stats, but I think it's actually faster than Slay King, and it doesn't have that moving every other turn thing, so it might actually be more dangerous, honestly. I'm still kind of worried about a counter. Uh, but it didn't counter that time. And if I can hit an Iron Tail, it's over. Sweet. Got him. And what's left of Lanoon. Okay. Um, level 29. I'm going to lead off with a Mud Slap again. Headbutt. <laughs> Does two damage. Wall. Still kind of worried about counters. I know I'm being paranoid about that, but... Uh, Let's try Metal Claw. Alright, use Facade, that's fine. And Mud Slap did its job, lowering its accuracy, and one more Metal Claw will definitely kill it, so we're good to go. <laughs> Even a crit only did like 6 damage. Man, I love having Steel types. They're resistant to so much. It's a great secondary type for somebody to have. Alright, suck it, Dad. Got the Balance Badge. Sweet. 
Five of eight complete. Defense, okay, defense will increase, and now I'll be able to use Surf outside of battle. I need to get Surf first. I think I'll be able to do that momentarily, though. And got TM42, which is facade. It's not bad. I think it's like 70 power, normal move. Um, one interesting thing, as he just said, if your Pokemon had a status condition, like uh, poison or burn or something, facade's power is doubled, so you can kind of have interesting strategies with that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with Wally's dad for a sec. And I think he's going to have something for us. I would hope so if he's dragging us all the way to his house. Just conveniently, ri conveniently right next to the gym. Well, has become very healthy since he went to Vendon Turf Town, or Verdon Tur I don't know how you say that. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped to catch Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made me, his father, happy too. After they just gained such a great friend as you, this isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. Not a bribe or anything, okay. Anyway, we're gonna get surfed, that's cool. Definitely gonna teach that to Taylor immediately. He can uh, utilize that. I think that will be rather helpful. And a bunch of people can learn it. Holy crap, four different people on my team can learn it? Uh, well, I might teach it to Mew. I don't think Agron or Tauros have a good enough special attack for it to be worth it. I'm gonna check. Surf is a good move. The only bad thing is that since it's an HM, it's not deletable. I really hope they fix that in X and Y. Alright, yeah, his special attack kind of sucks. Um, his isn't that great either, so I'm probably going to just teach Surf to Taylor for now. I might teach it to Mew later as well, just to round out his moveset. I'm going to hold off on that for now, though. Alright, so that gym badge uh, went pretty well. Did not lose anybody, and... Uh, I really got kind of lucky there that on the first turn I didn't go for just an Iron Tail on Slaking because I think its counter would have just straight up killed me. Anyway, that uh, that was good. Got the badge. And now that we have Surf, we can cut through and go this way. Route 102. Woo! Okay, yes. Yeah, so back into Oldale. And then back here. And Caterpie, get out of here. Huntail, get out of here. So now we can surf here and take the shortcut back over to Mawil. Noctowl. Um, well, this definitely is the first Pokemon on this route since it's the same route as like 103, so not gonna be able to catch it, but interesting. Remembering that this is a randomizer, uh, the stuff that's in the water is completely random too. So I'm going to let uh, Red Bull and Taylor take on this double battle. Let's see what they've got. We're gonna crash? Yeah, okay. I should just swim it? Well, unfortunately, our character is unable to swim and we have to surf everywhere. Kind of a plot hole, but whatever. <laughs> wow, these guys are weak. I wonder why they made them so weak, because you have to have surf to fight them, so that means you've got five badges, so you should be able to, you know, take guys that are a little bit stronger than this, but whatevs. This makes this fight quite easy. And I forgot to turn on battle animations again. I will do that immediately after this fight. Let's do that now. Switch uh, scene back to on. <laughs> Sorry about that. And... Barboach. Uh, something that actually makes sense for it to be in the water. And here we go. We are back. Um, so this is going to take us over to Cycling Road. Let's see. Let's check the map and see where we're going now. Alright, so we've explored this half, this uh, left half of Hoenn. But it's now it's time to go this way. Let's go back up to Mobile real fast. We take the Cycling Road this time. I actually haven't done that yet. Now that I have a bike. Oh, I seem to auto-equip my bike. Guess not. Uh, mock bike, sweet. I think there's some trainers on the way too. I'm not gonna go out of my way to fight them or anything, but if I run into them, I'll fight them, I guess. Like this guy. And his Magnemite. Get out of here. Okay, apparently 
she was not a trainer, and there we go. Didn't have to worry about all the wild Pokemon and stuff. Shortcut. Alright, and we can now... Uh, actually, let's do this first. I forgot Watson was here. So there's an underground place called New Mawil, and uh, there's a generator that he wants us to start up back there. So let's go do that real fast, help out Watson. Um, yeah, okay. Onward. Actually, let me uh, buy some stuff while I'm here. I think I'm running out of super potions. And I got plenty of those. Could do with a few more of these, though. Just to be safe. And let's roll out. New Mawile is over here. Door is locked. Use basement key. Yes. Um, I think there's actually a lot of Pokemon here, so we can catch something new here. Didn't even think about that. There's switches everywhere, and first Pokemon in this area is... Yanma. Interesting. Actually pretty good, especially when you evolve them into Yanmega, which I don't think we can do in this game, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm going to catch him anyway, because Yanma's not bad. I don't think this will kill it. Even though it has pretty bad defenses. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do that a couple more times. Alright, and let's uh, chuck some great balls at it. Great balls of fire. And got it. See 360 degrees without moving its eyes. It's a great flyer capable of making sudden stops and turning mid-air to quickly chase down targeted prey. Interesting. Alright, if it can move 360 without, uh, you know, moving, it can see 360 around and make lots of flips and stuff. Let's call this guy 360 No Scope. I don't know if that name will fit. Let's see. Yep, I think it just will. Sweet. <laughs> 360 No Scope. After uh, Ray and Michael, just fits. Awesome. All right, now that we have that, I'm gonna heal up Tauros and let's continue through this area. I think the generator's all the way in the back, and the reason I'm doing this is because Watson gives you a pretty solid TM for uh, helping him out. Uh, okay. I need to be a little bit more careful with those switches. Okay, I'm gonna use a repel because these guys are getting kind of annoying now that I have one. Super repel, good. Got plenty of those. Um, I don't think I want to turn that on. Let's see what this is. Escape rope, okay that'll be nice for getting out of here. Um, I believe the generator we want is all the way in the upper right hand corner of this place. So, not that way. Uh, how about up here? That is not a poke or not an item, it's a Pokemon. Full tour, okay. Um, so I need to open that door. Probably gonna do it with this. Yep. And, I'm guessing only one of these is an item. It wasn't that one. <laughs> Ow, so those sonic booms are annoying. I'm gonna switch to somebody else. Alright, that was an item though. And I'm gonna have to press that switch to continue. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. And I think we're heading the right direction. That one, I guess wrong again. Spark doesn't affect me though, so that works. And now I gotta press this. And I think that opens the door. And here's the generator. Sweet, that didn't take very long. Got a thunderstone. Don't think I'll need that, but nice to have. And let's turn the generator on. Or er, stop it. Sorry. Uh, and I think that's all we have to do here. I'm just going to uh, escape rope out. Just apparate out of here. And go back to Watson and tell him we're done. 
Yeah, if you know where you're going and you don't try and explore and get all the items and that stuff, that area can be pretty quick. Back to Watson. This is my thanks. So he's gonna give us Thunderbolt, which is awesome. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't taught Mew Shockwave now so I could teach him Thunderbolt instead. It'd be kind of stupid to have it know both, so I'm gonna see if anybody else can learn that. If not, I might eventually switch out Shockwave for Thunderbolt. It just feels kind of like a waste if I do that though. Let's see who can learn Thunderbolts. Um. Man, these guys can learn everything, apparently. Even Tauros? What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Eh, whatever. I'll leave that alone for now. And now we can go this way. It's the uh, way that was kind of blocked earlier. Well, not blocked, it's just we didn't have Surf. What's up? Yes, I will take your good rod. Thanks, brah. Alright. So it's these reporter people again, that I'm not going to give them a report, but I will fight them. They have definitely leveled up since last time. Bone Club, and... Ah, I know Surf now. Which hits both opponents, which is cool. Pretty useful for double battles. And easy. Nope, no interview for you. Screw that. Fisherman. Oh crap, I need to get out of here. Yeah, you can take the bubble beam. Carvana. And I'll just surf it to death. Okay, um, heal up boner to be safe. Super potion, go. And, oh, it's Steven. What's up? Hey Pidgey, it's me, we met in the cave near Deford. There are many kinds of Pokemon in this world. Yep, there's Pokemon from all three generations, as a matter of fact. Okay, cool story, bro. Um, I think I might have already burned my Pokemon for this route when I caught a muck earlier with the fishing rod. Let's see. Yeah, this is also part of the same route, so I can't catch anything here yet, which is unfortunate. Hopefully I don't run into anything good or I'm going to be really disappointed. Let's see what's in this grass. Um, okay, I'll fight these guys. Did not mean to use that. Uh, definitely want to switch out. Let's snowball take care of this. Icy wind. Okay, gonna let snowball take this next one too, because he's another bird keeper. Okie doke. Wing all. Get crunched. Alright, uh, this is a new route though. And a double battle. I mean, it doesn't have to be a double battle, I suppose, but I'm gonna make it a double battle. Just to make this go faster. Pincer Absol, that's actually a good freaking team. Uh, I guess Icy Wind hits both people, so that's cool. And I'm gonna try and kill Absol. I'm a little worried that they're actually gonna be able to hurt me a lot. <laughs> Let's see how much Icy Wind does. Okay, it lowers speed, which is nice, I guess. Wow, Icy Wind did not do a whole lot. Harden, okay, I can live with that. And Sword Stance. That is worrying, though. I need to kill Absol immediately before it can attack me. Thank you for hitting. And that'll do it. Sweet. Good stuff. Thank you, Boner. Take care of that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use Icy Wind actually to use Harden. And that's yeah, the same plan. Did not kill it though. Out, revenge hurts. Hyper potion. Shit. All right. There it goes. Alright, those were actually fairly competent trainers, was not expecting that. Uh, this is the uh, Berry Master's house, I think. Uh, let's fight her first though, and then go claim some berries. Leech Seed, that's an annoying move. 
Gloom. Alright, Icy Wind will take care of that as well. Unfortunately, the Leech, leech Seed persists, which kind of sucks. There we go. Berries everywhere. Alright, I'm not going to pick all of them, because that would take forever, and I'm lazy. I'll get a couple of each, though. Whatever this is. Tomac Berry. Alright, I'll take half of their stuff. Don't want to be a complete asshole, right? And I think this guy will give us stuff. Got a grape berry and a crowlot berry. Cool. Um, double battle. Go. Uh, hmm. well, Boner is not very well equipped to be in this fight, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. There we go. Um, uh, there's. This is a new route, but there's no grass for me to catch anything right now, unfortunately. Um, well, I'll be able to catch stuff on here later when I'm approaching the route from the other side. Let's grab this Pokeball. Hyper Potion. Curious to see what's on this route, even though we can't catch it. Oh my god, really? I'm not. <sighs> well, guys, can't get this Articuno. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to catch it anyway, but I am going to kill it, however. And I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> this thing is a legendary. Would switch this thing out for Snowball in a heartbeat. Can't catch it, though. Oh, well. At least we got to see it. See its beauty. We can catch somebody up here, though. Um, I'm going to put Taylor in front. And let's see what's in this grass. Mankey, a little less exotic than an Articuno, but not bad. We actually don't have a fighting type yet, so it'd be decent to have. Start uh, biting it to lower its HP. Once more should be good. I'm going to switch out of here. Taylor's getting hurt. Switch into... Uh... I don't really have anybody good for fighting type, guys. Anyway, start throwing some Great Balls. Got it first try. Sweet. Didn't read the description, my bad. Got over happy with the speed up button. Uh, Menke shall be named. Uh... Actually, nope, I got a better name. If you've played Borderlands 2, then you will uh, get this reference. I'm probably gonna spell it wrong, but whatever. He shall be a bully mong. guys you fight at the beginning of the game, the ice guys. Seems legit. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back and heal, and then we're going to continue up this route next time, so thanks for watching.